happy never after. We look at the baddest and maddest soap weddings that make Aiden and Eva's look tame. As coy couples ceremony is washed in a fountain, here are Soap Lamb's most unforgettable nuptials. In soap weddings, there's one guarantee. No matter who ties the knot, it will never, ever be the happiest day of their life. There have been jilted brides, jilted grooms, bigamists, fights, explosions, even deaths. But nothing stops characters taking the plunge. Coronation Street has seen an impressive 102 impending nuptials, Emmerdale 69, Hollyoaks 50 and Enders getting out the confetti 62 times. And Coronation Street promises its most dramatic nuptial dramas yet. Viewers will be on grift as an epic catfight explodes when scorned bride Eva Price is outed for lying to groom maiden Connor about being pregnant by his jealous mistress Maria. Eva, played by Catherine Tardsley, will end up going ten rounds with Maria, Samia Gady, Connor in the fountain. Recalling filming the wet and wild scenes, Samia, 35, says, Kath grabbed my hair and shoved my head under the water and dunked my head up and down. The worst thing I did was rip her hair extensions and throw her tiara across the fountain. I might have tried to dump her in, but it was bloody hard in that wedding dress. She adds, it was like a Disney film, where the beautiful princess becomes this mess. So as things erupt again, here are the best, worst and most cringeworthy nuptials of all. Best Dress, Bet Lynch, Coronation Street. Famed for her love of leopard print and big hair, Bet Lynch was never going to be an understated bride. So when Alec Gilroy tracked her down to Torremolinos and proposed, viewers couldn't wait to see what she'd wear. The Rover's landlady went all out. Meringue dress with huge puff sleeves, tiara and full veil. Best Jilting, Chastity Dingle and Carl King, Emmerdale. Carl was a very brave man to do the dirty on someone as volatile as Charles when she found out he had been sleeping with Edna's granddaughter Eve. She let the wedding go ahead so she could reveal Carl's sordid secret to the entire village just as Vicar Ashley Thomas asked her if she would take Carl to be her husband. Shortest lived, Ian Beale and Melanie Healy, EastEnders. Poor Ian has never been lucky in love. He only wed Cindy as she was pregnant, and then in 1999 tricked Mel into saying I do by lying his daughter Lucy had cancer. They married with Barry Evans and Natalie. Mel dumped Ian minutes later when she found a letter giving Lucy the all clear. Best Fight, Tracy Barlow and Karen McDonald, Coronation Street. Karen and Steve got married the first time for a bet, like you do. So the second time around, she went all out to plan her dream wedding. But then Tracy Barlow turns up to announce Steve was the father of her baby. Karen tunks Tracy with her stiletto. Full on catfight ensues. Worst surprise, Sharon and Dennis, EastEnders. Sharon wanted nothing more than for her missing dad, Dirty Den, to give her away at her wedding to Dennis. He turned up of course, but not in the way that Sharon wanted. Everyone thought he had run away with another woman, but in fact his ex Chrissy had killed him and buried him under the cellar of the Queen Vic. But Sam Mitchell, who witnessed the murder, lost the plot and dug up Den's body in the middle of the wedding. Most romantic, Scott and Charlene, neighbors. It is almost 30 years ago since the ultimate 80s sweethearts Scott Robinson and Charlene Mitchell said I do in neighbors. 20 million tuned in to see Kylie Minogue walk down the aisle, to tie the knot with Jason Donovan. It was made all the more poignant that they turned out to be dating in real life. Best Double Wedding, Viv and Donna Windsor, Emmerdale. Ah, how sweet. Having a double wedding with your mum. That is, of course, unless your mum is Viv Windsor and her idea of stylish bridal attire is a white mini dress with bejeweled fluffy cowboy boots. An outfit even Dolly Parton would turn her nose up at. Whilst Donna wed her sweetheart Marlon Dingle, Viv's sparkly boots very nearly didn't make it down the aisle after her fiancé Bob was kidnapped by his ex before the wedding. Most enthusiastic romantic, Steve McDonald, Coronation Street. 
Some characters love weddings so much, they can't stop having them. Gail Rodwell, Peter Barlow and Steve McDonald from Koi have each had five spouses. But Steve wins, marrying Karen twice. EastEnders Ian Beale and Phil Mitchell have both had four wives and Emma Dill's Eric Pollard, five. Most forgetful grooms, Coronation Street. Koi boasts four bigamists. Arnold Swain forgot to tell Emily Bishop he was married when they wed in 1980. Likewise Eve Sykes when she tied the knot with Fred Elliott. And Peter Barlow hadn't bothered with a divorce when he wed Shelley Unwin. Then in 2015 Beth Dinker was still wed when she married Kirky. Best stunt, Amanda Carrington in Prince Michael, Dynasty. Alexis Colby and Blake Carrington's long-lost daughter Amanda is gliding down the aisle to meet her betrothed Prince Michael, when terrorists burst in firing. It ends with most of the cast lying apparently lifeless, though still looking glam. Lamb. Yeah.